Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can generate a bar chart in SPSS using the legacy dialogs. Click on graphs in the menu bar and go for legacy dialogs and the first option should be bar. Now we want a simple bar chart so click on simple and make sure the summaries for groups of cases is selected. Then click on define. Now select the variable of which you want the bar chart and move it to the category axis. At the moment the bars will represent the absolute frequencies, the number of cases. You can also choose for cumulative frequencies, the percentage of cases or the cumulative percentages. In this example I will want to see percentages so I'll use percentage of cases. Click on OK and in your output you now get a nice bar chart with the percentages. You can double click on the bar chart to get to the chart editor where you can change a few different things. For example if you double click on the bars the properties window should pop up and at fill you can now change the color for example of the fill to blue. Click on apply and all of the bars are now blue. If you click on one of the bars again then only that bar is selected and you can change that single color to for example orange and click apply again. There's also a depth and angle, an option to add a 3D effect and change the distance a little bit, click on apply and you now have a 3D bar chart, although I wouldn't recommend using these. At the bar options you can also indicate if you want how big you want the gaps to be between the bars, ranging from 100% uh, which actually means no gaps, or a wi very wide gap of 10% and then the bars themselves become very thin put it a little bit in the middle again. If you close the chart editor the changes will be saved automatically in the output although you have to save the output separately of course. 